Now, as we have learned about the different types of conventional techniques involving the antigen antibody reaction, now we are going to learn about the ELISA, which is a relatively newer technique involving the antigen antibody reaction. So, uh, what is the meaning of ELISA? What does it stand for? So, ELISA stands for the enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. Okay, and here uh, we will talk about ELISA in detail one by one in a stepwise manner. It is a very important topic, so you should concentrate here and uh, watch this lecture with very attention and attentively. So, uh, the first question is why do we want to do the ELISA? What is the need of ELISA? So, ELISA is a test that is used to detect the antigen or the antibody in the patient's sera. And how do we do that? We do this with the help of the enzyme substrate chromogen system. So there is an enzyme substrate chromogen system that we use to detect the antigen or the antibody in the patient's sera. Now what is the principle behind this ELISA? So principle can be discussed in two steps. The step one is there is formation of uh, antigen antibody complex with the uh, you know with the indicator uh, antibody indicator antibody means the antibody which has the enzyme linked to it so that antibody which has the enzyme linked to it is called as the indicator antibody that indicator antibody forms the enzyme sorry forms the antigen antibody complex okay so that is the first step after that there is addition on the substrate uh, to which the enzyme acts and converts it into a chromogen that means there is color uh, change occurring in the system so that causes the change in the color that enzyme which is linked to that antibody causes the change in the color of the uh, sam uh, sample or you know, you know the system or the well and that is detected by the spectrophotometry so these are the two steps the first step is the enzyme uh, there will always be a formation of uh, antigen antibody complex in the system or in the well of the ELISA okay and the second thing is the change in the color after the addition of the substrate. So in these two steps, the principle is done. So see here, what I have written is that there is antigen antibody complex with the enzyme linked to that antibody. That is the indicator antibody. And when we add the substrate, there is activation of the chromosome leading to the color change in the system or in the well. And that is detected by the spectrophotometry. So this helps in detection of the uh, antigen or the antibody in the patient's serum okay now let's talk about different types of sorry first of all let's talk about the uh, what are the uh, you know the enzymes that we can use or we can level the in antibodies indicator antibody and their respective substrates so basically two uh, en enzymes are usually used to you know conjugate the indicator antibody the, those are the alkaline phosphatase and the horse radish peroxidase now when we are using this alkaline phosphatase to uh, you know uh, yeah, to in the in the ELISA process then we will be using this paranitrophenol phosphate substrate as a you know in, in the chromogen system so uh, in in this enzyme when we are using this enzyme then our substrate will be this and we are when we are using the horse radish peroxidase to link over the indicator antibody then our substrate will be hydrogen peroxide so uh, this substrate depends upon the type of en enzyme that we are using for linking over that indicator antibody okay so these are the two uh, you know important point this may be asked in the uh, mcq so what is the substrate for uh, which enzyme so like that there may be a mcq question so uh, you can remember this okay what is this enzyme that we can use to level the antibodies and their respective substrate as well in the chromosome uh, substrate chromosome system now come to the types of the ELISA so first of all we have the direct ELISA so what do we do in direct ELISA first of all the direct ELISA is used for antigen detection in the taste serum okay that is used in the used for the antigen detection in the taste serum now what do we do is that the antigen here is in the solid phase but not pre-coated pre-coated means this well this well here is not already pre-coated with that antigen we have added these uh, patients sera in which the antigen was present that antigen has uh, you know has been coated over this well surface by its own okay so that is the meaning of antigen is only solid phase but it is not pre-coated from uh, you know beforehand 
okay it is uh, coated over the well uh, only after addition of the patient sera now what we do is we add the enzyme labeled antibody we add the enzyme labeled antibody so this is our enzyme labeled antibody this is our enzyme and this is antibody so enzyme labeled antibody is then added in that well in that well we add the enzyme labeled antibody after that we wash off the well we wash off the well so that the extra antibodies which are there which are hanging there with the antibodies extra antibodies which are hanging there with the uh, enzyme they will be washed off they will be washed off they will be washed off after washing the wells only those antibodies will remain inside those uh, which are linked to the which are linked to the antigen okay which are linked to the antigen in the solid phase so only those antibodies will remain in the well after that what we will do is we will add the substrate chromosome system okay we will add the substrate chromosome system so what will happen when we add the enzyme uh, i mean the substrate chromosome system so then this enzyme which is linked to the antibody which has been fixed by the antigen this enzyme will act over that substrate and convert it into a chromogen this is a chromosome that will cause the color change that will cause the color change okay and this color change will be detected by the spectrophotometry as a result when we will see that there is a color change when we see the spectrophotometry and we come to know that there is a color change then we can say that the patient serum did has the antigen that's why the color has been uh, producing so uh, this uh, you know in this way we can diagnose the uh, i mean we can detect the antigen in the test serum so this is the direct elisa this is the direct elisa now come to the indirect elisa so in the indirect elisa is for antibody detection in the test serum okay this is for the antibody detection now what do we do here here the antigen is pre coated on the solid phase so it Uh, from beforehand it remains coated over the well of the uh, you know uh, elisa plate so over the well of the elisa plate it is pre coated from beforehand it is coated it is not present in the patient serum now when we add the test serum which is containing the primary antibody against the pre coated antigen so when we add the test serum and suppose the patient uh, uh, sera has the uh, has those antibodies to which this i mean which are produced against this particular antigen then those antibody will obviously bind to these you know antigens which are uh, pre coated over the well okay so that is happening here this uh, antibody of the patient sera is binding to the pre coated antigen over the well of the elisa plate so after that we will wash the well so that the extra antibodies which are hanging uh, without any meaning in the well they will get washed off they will get washed off from the well after that we will add the secondary antibody which are the antibodies against this patient's antibody okay these antibodies are produced against this patient's sera antibody and those antibodies are linked with the enzyme those are linked with the enzyme those are linked with the enzyme so see here this here these antibodies here these antibodies these secondary antibodies are acting as the indicator antibody Here, the secondary antibodies are acting as the indicator antibody. So here, secondary antibody, the enzyme level is added. Now, when we add this antibody, then what happens? When we add this antibody, then what happens is that uh, uh, after this, we will again wash off the uh, well so that the other ant secondary antibodies, which are linked to the enzyme, they get washed off. and after just like in the uh, direct elisas uh, and after that we will add the substrate chromosome system and after adding of the substrate chromosome system this enzyme will convert the substrate to chromogen and there will be color change which will be detected by the spectrophotometry which will be detected by the spectrophotometry so in this method we will detect this primary antibody in the patient's sera so here in the indirect elisa we are detecting the antibody in the patient sera while in the direct elisa we were detecting the antigen in the patient sera remember this very you know fine difference here we are detecting antibodies in the patient sera in the indirect elisa while in direct elisa we were detecting the antigen in the patient sera now come to the other type of elisa that is the sandwich elisa what is that 
सो सैंडविच इलाइजा इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर एंटीजन डिटेक्शन ना लेट सी हाउ सो दिस इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर एंटीजन डिटेक्शन हेयर ऑल्सो वी हैव प्री कोटेड कैप्चर एंटीबॉडी लाइक इन द केस ऑफ द इन डायरेक्ट इलाइजा वी हैड द प्री कोटेड एंटीजेंस ओवर द विल्स ऑफ द दैट इलाइजा यू नो प्लेट बट हेयर वी हैव प्री कोटेड कैप्चर एंटीबॉडी here we have pre coated capture antibody see here this is our pre coated capture antibody and then we add the paste serum the patient's serum will be added if the patient serum is containing that particular antigen to which this capture antibodies has been produced and coated over that well then those antigen antigens will bind to the fab portion of that capture antibody like this has bind, bound to the capture antibody fab portion so after the uh, binding of that uh, you know antigen to the capture antibody fab portion then we will wash off so that the extra antigens which are present in the in the system the extra antigens which are present in the system they get washed off they get washed off so that's why we will wash it off and then we will add the enzyme labeled detector antibody so this is our primary antibody which is enzyme labeled this is our enzyme labeled antibody which is which is getting and it is going to bind to the Uh, you know test antigen and then uh, when we add next next when we add the substrate chromosome system like this that is causing the change in the color by the i mean the enzyme is causing change in the color in that substrate causing change in color in that substrate and that is being detected by the spectrophotometry so this this is our direct sandwich elisa now this uh, sandwich elisa is of two types one is the direct and the indirect now what description i have given that is for the direct sandwich elisa there is one more uh, sandwich elisa that is indirect uh, indirect sandwich elisa which is this so in this case what is happening is that th there also uh, there is a capture antibody which is pre coated over the well and then we are adding the patient's serum uh, to which if antigen is present that antigen will bind to the capture antibody and after that we are adding one primary antibody here we are adding one primary antibody against that particular antigen and again we will wash off and then after the addition of the primary antibody then we will add a indicator antibody or the secondary antibody which has the enzyme linked to it okay and that antibody will go and bind to the primary antibody that antibody will go and bind to the primary antibody and again we will wash off and then we will add the substrate chromosome system and after that the enzyme will cause the change in the substrate to chromosome chromogen and there will be change in the color and detection by the spectrophotometry so this is indirect because here there is involvement of one extra antibody that is the primary antibody and secondary antibody in the process of indirect sandwich elisa so these are the two types of sandwich elisa one is the i mean one is the direct sandwich elisa and the other one is the indirect sandwich elisa okay so by uh, diagram you can differentiate between the direct sandwich elisa and the indirect sandwich elisa now what is the importance of the uh, elisa techniques so the importance or the use of elisa is that it can be used for antigen detection of course it can be used for antibody detection like in the indirect elisa okay so uh, uh, what are the examples of antigen detection so we detect hbs antigen hepatitis b surface antigen or the dengue ns1 antigen so these all are detected by the Uh, direct elisa or sandwich elisa and then uh, what is the example of antibody detex detection so dengue igm igg is detected using elisa uh, i mean indirect elisa then uh, herpes simplex virus antibody or hiv antibody are detected using the indirect elisa so these are the examples of the antibody detection and the antigen detection by the elisa technique so this is the all about the elisa if you remember the diagrams of the elisa i mean different types of elisa then you can obviously Uh, will be able to write uh, about elisa uh, whatever question is asked in the university exam okay that's all for the elisa